need to just pray for others. We need to intercede for others. It's never about us. Like it's never about us. As I've learned to learn, as I've learned to walk the walk of God, I realized this is never about me. But anyways, thank you for those of you who are watching. I'm going to get started with this class. I hope that you can see me well enough. I do have foundation on. I have highlight. I'm glowing. I'm glowing, girl. So we're going to just do eyes today so you can kind of get an idea of how my, you know, what my makeup class looks like. I do have a recorded makeup class where I teach this whole look. So we are going to get started with brows um i know um the owner founder of american woman beauty she's like i love your brows bra bra i want you to teach that so let me show you how i do my eyebrows and hopefully this could be a simple step for you all as well too and if you have any questions ask them in the comments and i will try my best to answer them verbally because it's going to be a little hard for me to tap so I'm going to start off with, actually, I'm going to just show you this brow pencil that I use. And I'm going to use the color taupe for myself. And this brow pencil has the mascara wand on one end, and then it has the pencil, a retractable pencil. So what I do is I brush my eyebrow hairs up. Okay. And the reason why I brush my eyebrow hairs up is because I can immediately see the shape and the frame of my brow, okay? And so now what I'm gonna do now is I am going to define my brow, okay? So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna start one fourth away, like one fourth away, and I'll even do a dot from the beginning of the brow, okay? I'm gonna get really close, see the dot right there? And this is how I started the line. So I'm gonna take my line, start to draw frame, and I'm gonna drag my line all the way to the arch of my brow, okay? Once I get to the arch of my brow, I'm gonna bring that line downward, following the curve of the tip of my brow, but I'm also going to shade that pencil into the end tip end part of my brow okay so so far i am creating definition so then i'm going to come back here and you see how i made that line right there i'm going to use this as my reference point and i'm going to flick shade sideways so i'm going to fill in color and if i feel like the color is not really moving then i will switch and use my mascara wand just to soften the color okay and sometimes i'll go back and reline just so i don't lose that definition okay do you see that look at the difference between this brow this brow has no color to it it has no like pencil or definition but this one does already okay so after i've done this line now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to take the line and meet it to that dot that I made. Do you see that? And then I'm going to flick my eyebrow hairs, I'm sorry, my uh, pencil upwards, mimicking my eyebrow hairs, okay? And then I'm gonna use my mascara wand just to soften that tone up, okay? Do you see that? Do you see how that immediately defined my brow? And I'm trying my very best to keep it as simple as possible, okay? So it's really like steps. And you're going to start from midpoint, bring it to the arch, to the end, and then come back to the beginning. But I'm going to repeat it again, okay? So you want to work in sections as well, too. You don't want to take your pencil and just kind of just go everywhere. You don't want to do that. You want to be very, very specific in how you want to define and how you should define your brows. Sorry guys, I'm really, I'm a really good talker. Like I'm a really good <laughs> like explainer. So forgive me for my tongue twisting moments. Okay, 
So you wanna brush the eyebrow hair up. You wanna do this, you wanna brush your eyebrow hair up because when you brush your eyebrow hair up, you can see the definition of your brow. You see where the beginning of the brow is, you see where the arch is, and you see where the end of the brow is, okay? So by doing that, I can see like, where do I begin? So I always begin one fourth away from the brow, and I will announce the winner, the giveaway winner tonight after this class, because I want you guys, to, I don't want you all to stay on and watch me work, okay? So we're gonna take that line and we're gonna drag it into the arch. So when you start your line, you wanna make sure that you angle it towards the arch of the brow, okay? Once you get to the arch of the brow, you're gonna curve your line see if I can curve your line and then start to shade, shade, shade the end tip of the brow. Now, if you really want to learn how to do this, I literally take it really, really slow on my recorded makeup class. And what's amazing about the recorded makeup class is that you can rewind and replay, rewind and replay. And I try my very best to just keep it at a very slow pace so that you can really learn this for yourself, okay? So after I did my line and I shaded my end tip, so now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm gonna flick sideways to fill in the body, right? Okay. And then I, I really take advantage of my mascara wand to really soften the color in my brow. And then thereafter, I'm gonna connect that line to the beginning. And when you make that line at the beginning, you wanna make sure your, that, your pressure, that the pressure of your hand is much, much lesser. You know why? Because the harder you press, the more color goes on and it looks very unnatural when you do it at the very beginning of the brow. And then we are going to flick upward. And like I said, I'll go back and feel and like just reline my my uh where like I might have missed definition. And voila. There's your brow. And this is just brow pencil, okay? You could totally skip brow pencil and just do a gel. The gel will just make the eyebrow hairs like sit, you know, be more groomed, stay more up give it a little bit of shape. But if you wanna do a brow pencil, a brow pencil is gonna give you definition. It's going to give you this beautiful, beautiful um, shape, you know, more prominence to your brow, okay? So that is just brow pencil. So now we're gonna move on to the fun part, okay? And this is like my most favorite, my most favorite. Does anybody have questions? Yes, Casey, there was a contest. There was a contest, but unfortunately, the giveaway um, participants. I'm not. I'm. I'm Hispanic, so I'm gonna just blame it on that. I cannot talk right today. <laughs> um, yes, the sign up for giveaway has been closed. It's clo it, it closed at 4 p.m. But hopefully, we'll have more. All right. So we're gonna do concealer. I'm gonna put concealer on the back of my hand. And I am going to use a flat concealer brush. So my very first brush of the evening for this makeup class, okay? So I'm gonna use a flat concealer synthetic brush. And what I'm about to do is I'm about to change your whole world, okay? So I'm gonna take the concealer at the very tip of the brush, not on the side, on the very tip of the brush like this. And I'm gonna dab, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve Okay, I'm gonna carve the brow and highlight the brow, okay? So, let's get started. So I'm gonna start one fourth. You know what, I'm trying to see, because I wanna make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. Same thing, one fourth away from the brow and you're gonna draw a line and carve. And then I'm gonna come back here and connect. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're going to highlight and you're gonna, first you're gonna draw a line because the purpose of this of you doing this is to highlight, okay? 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taper the concealer downward. I am gonna go back here and refine my line because it's looking a little wonky for me. And then bring it down. Not for nothing, do you see what this did for me? Look at the difference. It cleaned up everything. So do you see the difference between this brow and this brow? It literally gave more like definition, more of a cleanliness to the brow. And I'll like go back with my mascara wand and just like brush up just to kind of make sure that it just looks nice and angled. Do you see that? I should have taken, I think I took it before picture on my, on my actual Instagram so you can see the difference in what it looks like to have a filled brow versus no brow. Well, I have brows, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let me do the other side. Make sure that you pick up the concealer at the tip of the brush like this, okay? And let's go. I actually start at the beginning here. You can, just make sure your pressure is softer. And draw a line using the tip of the brush. Use the tip of the brush to follow. Oh my goodness, I gotta keep my head up. To follow your natural frame of your brow. Not natural frame, but the frame that you made, okay? And then you're gonna tape the concealer or taper, yeah, taper the concealer downward. Okay. Now, I've been doing makeup for almost over 18 years, okay? So this comes like, this is like a piece of cake for me, okay? So I did this pretty fast. Will you get this in one hit? No, this takes practice, okay? But this literally will change the game. Not for nothing, um, I don't have time to put on eyeshadow palettes, or like eyeshadow work for the most part. Like if I'm gonna go out, this is literally my look. I'll put on mascara and call, a little bit of a lip and call it a day. This is like my like everyday make like everyday makeup look because honestly I just want to look polished and this is literally just a look, okay? So I hope that this was like helpful for you guys and that you guys like learn something with this little brow tutorial. If you want to see more of my brow tutorial, you could totally hop on my um Instagram at barbararodriguez.co i think i have like a small reel and i talk about what i do exactly and really talk about the products that i do use but i also have a recorded makeup class that i actually will be putting up on my website real soon but the giveaway winner will win that today and it's an hour and a half class where i literally break it down on how to do this full look okay so now we are going to take the rest of the concealer with the concealer brush using now the side of the concealer brush and now i'm going to put it all over my lid starting from the inner center out and then bringing it upward to make sure it connects to the concealer that i use for underneath the brow so i'm connecting it all so what i'm doing is i'm brightening my eye but then i'm also using the concealer as a base before i put on my eyeshadow. okay Again, this could totally be a whole look. Put concealer on your lid, brighten your eye, put maybe a little bit of like a powder base just to lock in the concealer so it won't crease as you open and close throughout the day and put on mascara and call it a day. But this is how you would begin with doing your eyes. You would do your brows first, whether you do pencil and you define it and you, and you know, or you use a gel. I also like to do, so do you see how my brows are just kind of like, you know, the hairs go to the side. I personally love my brows to look a little bit more lifted. So I do use a gel brow, a brow gel, to just lift my brow and give it like more of a tapered and groomed, and I don't know how else you would call it, like a laminated look. I am a brow guru, like I love brows, like, this is what I do at my studio. I love brows. Okay. I hope that you guys can see it. So let me just go like that. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna move on to eyes. So we're gonna use the Free Thinking Woman, the natural palette, customized by me, but it's a beautiful collaboration that I did with American Woman Beauty. 
And so we're gonna start off with this matte ivory shadow. I picked these colors intentionally because they're neutral, they're easy to use, and the way that I'm gonna teach you is gonna be in such a way that's gonna be so simple. It go, you know, like, and the way that they also are patterned, it's gonna help you, or sequence, it's gonna help you know, like, what are you gonna use first, what are you gonna use second, and what are you gonna use third, and so forth, okay? So now, we're gonna move on to the next brush. We're gonna use a blending brush. And let me tell you something, listen to the brushes that I'm using, because the thing is, if you just use any brush, it's not going to achieve the look that I'm about to teach tonight. You have to listen to the kind of brushes that I'm using. So the very first brush I'm gonna use is a blending brush, okay, for my shadows. The first brush I really used was my concealer brush to do my highlighting and placing my concealer all over my lid, okay? There's a difference. This brush is flat, it's synthetic, it picks up moisture, it allows it to also define because of the way it, it's made. Now we're gonna use this fluffy blending brush and we're gonna pick up this matte shadow from the natural palette, okay? And I worked it in a circular motion. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press, press, press that shadow on the lid, inner, whatever I've got left in the brush, at the top like that. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I wanna mattify my concealer on my lid. I wanna mattify it because if you don't mattify the concealer on the lid, our um, eyelids, as they open and they close, they produce oil. So if you don't allow like a, like a dry finish to lock in the moisture, it's going to crease and then everything else is gonna crease. So you wanna make sure that you have, like you do this locking method, okay? So you're gonna put concealer all over your lid like I did, be like I did. and now, right now, I am using the matte shadow and I'm just pressing, pressing inner, center, out. Like I might need to make sure that my lid is mattified, okay? You wanna make sure that it looks nice and matte, okay? Dry, I don't like to use the word dry because it's just not a cute, not a cute look that's not a cute look okay so anyway so now we're gonna move on to shadow work okay so now that I've done the brows I've highlighted the brows I put concealer on the lid now I mattified it with the ivory shadow from the natural palette from the free thinking woman palette so now we're gonna move on to this color this is called transition tone this color right here, this medium brown color, is called your transition tone. This is like your matte neutral shadow. Okay, this is gonna mattify and lock in your concealer, but it also can give you a little bit of tone um, if you just want to use it by itself. If, if this is a look, that's it. Like you don't gotta do anything else, okay? But we're, we're, gonna, we're I'm gonna show you some more. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so we're gonna take this color. It's called the transition tone. I'm gonna use the same exact brush. I'm going to use a blending brush, okay? And I'm gonna pick up concealer in a circular motion and I'm gonna tap. Why? Because we have a tendency to be heavy handed. We have a tendency just to just stab the brush into the palette and then you got way too much color and then you put it on your eye and then you're like, what in the world happened? That, you gotta tap, you gotta tap, okay? A little bit goes a long ways when it comes to makeup. It's very important to start with little and then you can gradually build. But if you just like put a whole bunch, you're just gonna overwhelm and then you're, not, you're gonna like feel lost and then you're just gonna take off your makeup and then just give up on life, okay? Listen to what I have to say. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're going to take that blending brush and you're going to place that blending brush right on the outer corner of your eye like this, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna work it like in a V shape and then start bringing it into the crease of the eye. It doesn't matter if your eye's hooded, it doesn't matter if your eye is like more slanted, it doesn't matter if your eye has like, you know, that you, you know, your, the texture of your skin is like a little bit more, you know, uh, fallen. You wanna still make sure that you find that crease, okay? So you're gonna start the outer corner you wanna find that crease, which is right, and you always wanna start in the outer corner when you find that crease, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're going to place in the outer corner in a V shape and then start to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and circular motion, back and forth and circular motion, but I'm not going like this. 
I'm doing super small movements, super small movements, because if you do these big movements, you're going to make it look like a line and you don't want to do that. You want it to look like it's like smoked out. So this color is the medium brown color in the natural palette. And the reason why um, we use a medium color is because this is going to create definition, but it's not going to overwhelm the eye. This right here is called the transition tone. And everything else that you put on after it, this color helps balance all the colors afterwards. I hope that makes sense. Okay? Perfect. So that is your transition tone. Any questions? I hope you all are learning. For those of you who are still on the live, it's amazing. So I'm gonna pick up some more transition tone with the blending brush in a circular motion. What are you supposed to do? Tap, ladies. <laughs> tap, because if you don't tap, you are going to put a whole bunch of color on your eye and you're gonna feel overwhelmed and you're gonna mess it up, okay? I mean, what's amazing about makeup is that you can fix it, you can improvise, but you need to learn how. But so why not avoid those mistakes and just pick up a little bit at a time and the way that you could take off excess is tap. That is your like ultimate tip, okay? Tap. So you're gonna start here. You can keep your eye closed a little bit but I suggest when you do this technique, keep your eye open, get in the mirror, and go back and forth and in circular motion, back and forth and in circular motion. It does not matter, I'm gonna repeat that again. It does not matter if your eye is more hooded, it doesn't matter if your eye is more slanted, it doesn't matter if you have skin that's more fallen, you could still find your crease if you follow this technique, okay? So I'm gonna, I am gonna pick up a little bit more of uh, this medium color. I'm gonna work in the outer corner. So when you go back and pick up more color, you wanna make sure you start the outer corner always because it's safe. It's a safe spot, okay? So you're gonna go here and you're gonna work in a circular motion. I'm going a little faster. Back and forth, circular motion, back and forth. And if you guys want, if you ladies want to, purchase this eyeshadow palette you can purchase it on americanwomanbeauty.net and today it is 20 percent off and you can use the code barbara in capital letters b-a-r-b-a-r-a -R -R -A, okay and we do have a uh we're going to announce the giveaway um winner tonight for those of you who participated we did a giveaway and you will be winning this palette and a recorded makeup class very much like this but I teach the full face of makeup okay and it's for yours to keep okay so there we go there's my transition tone so I just wanted to let you all know that this is a look this could just be a look like you could just go on your you know you can take your little palette you can use your matte shadow just to mattify your eyes and then you can use this transition tone to put in your in your crease and call it a day. Literally, I personally like love like this is called soft glam by the way. This kind of look. It's like a two-tone soft look, okay? Do you see that? Yes. You're enjoying it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Please um don't hesitate to ask me questions. I hope that you're tracking with me. I know I could talk a little fast, but I hope that this is helpful, okay? But we're not gonna stop there, but I just want to show you that this alone can be a look. I am gonna add just a smidge more of the medium tone just to make sure it's the same amount of tone and color. So I'm just gonna add here. I'm a little of an expert here, but I just want to show you that, okay? So just pay attention to your eyes. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, does that look the same? Does that look the same in depth, okay? Perfect. Yes, you're welcome, Viviana. I'm excited about this. I hope that you guys are learning lots, okay? All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next color. So this was called your medium transition tone, okay? This helped mattify and locked color, I mean, your concealer on the lid. This is your medium transition tone. And now we're gonna move on to this chocolate brown right here, okay? And we are going to now switch the brush and we are going to use a pencil brush. 
So these are the brushes that I've used. Oh, these are the these are the brushes that I've used so far. This is the next brush. So I used my concealer brush, my blending brush, and now pencil. Pencil brush. Pencil. All right. So we're gonna take this chocolate brown right here. We're gonna dip, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna circular motion like this. We're gonna dab it. We're gonna dab it and tap, tap, and tap, tap, tap. <laughs> it's chocolate brown y'all it's chocolate brown this is dark so you want to make sure you just tap as much as possible a little bit goes a long ways with makeup okay let me repeat that again a little bit goes a long ways with makeup it, it, i'm telling you just build um you're, it's safer you putting on less and then gradually picking up okay so I'm gonna take this chocolate brown and I'm gonna work it in the outer corner of the eye, creating a V, C shape. Right there. Just right there, ladies. Let me, only right there, okay? And this is how you create a smoky eye. So I'm gonna pick up more, I picked up more. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm layering because I want a smoky eye, okay? So I'm gonna do it again. Go back and forth. I'm only staying, and you can keep your eye open. You can keep your eye open and really see your outer corner of your eye, even with your eyes open. And do you see, I'm not taking that chocolate brown out. I'm keeping it in the circumference of the eye. I hope you all learning here. I hope you are all learning here, okay? Okay, let's do this again. Um, oh, your girl messed up here. You know, I shouldn't be messing up. Okay, so you're gonna make sure that you take this chocolate brown. I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing because I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror and the camera at the same time. Now, let's say like you did mess up. I feel like I did mess up here. Don't worry about it. And it's okay if it's not exactly the same. Don't worry about it because right now you're just placing. The tapping is such an eye-opening. <laughs> the tapping is such an eye-opening to me. I know, I know, isn't that crazy? You know what, the, 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 what's so amazing about makeup is not about the actual application, it's about the tips all around it, which is kind of crazy. So it's okay, let me just go back to this, that your, like, your application of this part is not like exactly the same like the other side. Like it's okay because right now we're just placing because you're going to see what's about to happen. So what I'm doing at this point, ladies, is I'm layering. I want a smoky eye. I don't have to do all this layering. If I wanted a little softer, I would have done one pass and call it a day, okay? But I want like, I want a smoky eye. And make sure that you keep that dark color only on the outer corner. Yeah, this one's crazy looking, but you know what? I'm trying to like multitask here, like camera, mirror, camera, mirror. I'm trying to see, maybe if I could get this mirror propped up a little bit more. Not, I don't think that's gonna work. If you guys saw like my whole little setup here, the amount of makeup I have is insane, insane, insane. I have an 11 year old and she's like in complete heaven about this. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. Ooh, I think this worked, I propped my mirror. You guys don't know what's going on right here, but I propped it. Okay, so, so far I have used my flat concealer brush, okay? I'm showing you these brushes because these are the brushes that you're gonna need. And for those of you who need guidance on brushes, I can totally guide you to the right place in getting these kind of brushes. You can always like message me um, on my Instagram at Barbara Rodriguez with a Z at the end, dot co. And I can guide you on where to get the appropriate brushes because that's everything. Like you just getting like a brush set from TJ Maxx or from whatever, Marshalls, or even like CBS, it's not gonna do its it's not gonna do its job. You gotta make sure that you get artistry artistry brushes, okay? So you've got your flat concealer brush, you've got your blending brush and your pencil brush. I as you can see, I've been multi-using the blending brush a lot. So we're gonna go back with the blending brush and look what I'm about to do. 
But what I'm about to do, I'm gonna take the transition tone color, pick it up, tap, tap it, tap, 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 it, tap, tap. Okay. And look what I'm about to do. I'm about to buff that chocolate brown, girls, in a circular motion only in the outer corner of the eye, but then I'm gonna start to bring it a little bit more inward towards the bottom line of my lid, okay? And this, ladies, is called a smoky eye. Look at the difference. So what we're doing, what we did here was we placed. You have to place. When you do a smoky eye, you have to place and you have to be specific about your placement. And your placement's gonna only be in the outer corner of the eye to create this. And so what this color, and this is why this is called transition tone. So this color that we put in the crease is called transition tone because this transitioned into the darkness and it created this. A marriage of tones. Does that make sense? I hope you're tracking with me here. I hope, because I, 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 I got to keep my eye closed because I really like what's happening here. They just, they just, they just, they in love with each other. You know that they're for each other because they're just sinking. Okay? And it's also in the way that you do it. You gotta listen to my steps. Again, if you wanna learn how to do this entire look with my eyes, I have a recorded makeup class. It's coming up very soon. I hopefully as soon as tomorrow, you could totally message me. But the giveaway winner will win this recorded makeup class along with this palette. Okay, so let's move on. We're gonna pick up the transition tone with the blending brush, tap tap or circular motion sorry circular motion tap 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 okay yes okay now we're gonna go back and forth work it in a circular motion and actually you know no, don't work in a circular motion work back and forth don't work in a circular motion back and forth yep. and then we're gonna bring it a little bit into the lid on the liner of the lid liner lash line of the lid guys okay, sorry i'm hispanic i'm just gonna i'm just gonna blame it on that i'm gonna blame it on that because i am not talking right sorry for the background noise anyways okay like this one was really smooth this one is like not giving me what i wanted so i feel like this is not really smooth so i'm gonna go back in with my transition tone and just apply a little bit more here just to give it like closure. All right. I think I'm happy enough. All right, any questions? Any questions, okay? Any questions for me? I'm just gonna take my blending brush. I picked up no color and just I'm just gonna refine this a little bit. I'm gonna just blend it a little bit, soften it. Sorry, guys, that is my neighbor with their dog. <laughs> um, okay. Now we are going to move on to the last color, which is this beautiful, shimmery, ivory tone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub my middle finger. No, it's not my middle finger, my forefinger, my ring finger, okay? See this right here? I love to do it this way rather than a brush because I noticed that when you use like a product that has like a creamy, uh, like a more of an emollient based product, which this eyeshadow does, I noticed that because your, our, our like body has like, you know, like a certain temperature, it like sticks better. I've noticed that. So let's do this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my shimmer and I'm gonna put it in the center of my lid, bring it in the inner corner of my eye. I'm like, I'm like struggling here, so I'm going to like stretch and get in the inner corner. And then when I get here, I'm gonna do my very best to touch just a little bit near the chocolate brown that I did. Okay. And voila. You see that? See the difference? So you could totally keep it like this, keep it real matte, 
or you can have a pop of tone with the shimmer and it will literally like highlight your eye, the middle of your eye. Do you see that? And I will literally like pick up more. I'm gonna use my pinky and layer. I will layer and layer shimmer on my lid all day long because I just want my eyes to pop. Like that's just like my life. I want my whole life to pop. <laughs> <laughs> all right do you see that any questions any questions about this does shimmer make you look tired when you're older no if you put it right on the lid it will make your eyes pop it's really interesting like when you put shimmer just on the lid, don't put it in the crease, don't put it in the outer corner because that's where all the skin folds. But if you put it right on the lid where the skin doesn't fold as much, it's just going to make your eyes pop. I personally love a shimmer with dimension though. I don't like a shimmer by itself, but that's just my opinion, okay? However, you know, don't get it twisted. If I'm on a rush, I'll just throw a pop on and just go. But for the most part, I love this combo a whole lot but this is also a beautiful subtle combo combo as well too so we're gonna do this again we're gonna pick up shimmer on the ring finger and then what you're gonna do i'm gonna stretch my eye and you're gonna press the center inner okay get in that inner corner and then when you get here, touch just a little bit of the brown when you get here, just a little bit, just so it could do this too. So it can marry. And uh, that's it. Like I'm gonna do mascara, but like that's it. That's it for this look. What do you guys think? What do y'all think? Like this is it. Like did you see, and this took me, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> like 15 minutes maybe to do this whole look. And I started off with taking this ivory matte shadow and locking in the concealer. And then after that, I used the transition tone and put it right in the crease, right? And it all has to do with your brushes. That's all it has to do with these brushes right here. And of course, your shadow palette, right? And the tips that I shared with you all. Hopefully, you know, American Woman Beauty will keep this up on the, re I mean, on the, yeah, on the feed. So you, you all can see this. But if you want to learn how to do the full face, I teach all the way from skincare, all the way to how to apply foundation, concealer, how to set your concealer. Um, I introduce all the brushes that I use for your whole entire face. Um, I will be having that soon enough, but the giveaway winner will win this class that I teach. You know, I'm teaching just part of this, okay? But this was pretty much it. I am going to do a masca mascara hack because I learned a mascara hack. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's hope. I hope I don't get mascara in my eyes, though. Okay. So, oh, yes. I will tell them about my toner. I'll talk to you guys, too, about my skincare as well, too. Okay, so we're about to wrap it up with some mascara. I'm gonna skip the eyeliner today because that could take like forever and you can catch my recorded makeup class for that, okay? So we're gonna do mascara and literally this is like a whole look without eyeliner. Like this is a whole look, yes or no? Like if you've got your foundation on and you got your highlight and your blush, you're good, okay? So what I'm gonna do is put on my mascara and I learned this hack, if you like push your eyelid downward like look at my face like look at my face like what i'm making like these weird faces i'm making if you push your eyelid down against the mascara wand what it does it layers it layers mascara or the formula of the mascara on your lashes allowing your lashes to lift and um look full okay let me do it again all right and i because i want you guys to see the difference because you see how i'm like really like like looking down like i'm literally forcing my eye muscle down 
just so I can really get this mascara on brushing through. So do you see that? Okay. And that gives like an instant lift to your eyes and a beautiful definition. So we're gonna do it again. Thank you, Tonighty. Thank you, thank you. This is my friend Tonighty, by the way, ladies. Um, she makes lip glosses and lipsticks and she has lip liners. And I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on her lip liner, which is next. And then we will announce the giveaway winner. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna like look downward, ladies, like force your eye to look down as you put the mascara on underneath your lashes. Okay, girls, like look at my lashes. Like where am I going? I'm going to bed tonight. That's so messed up. I'm going to bed tonight after this. Okay, but whatever. It's not like I can, you know, not show this off tonight. Okay, do you see that? And then for bottom mascara, you just want to use like your like just like the t like the tip of the mascara wand. Don't use the whole thing because you can overwhelm um, like mascara on your lid. Now, if you feel like you did too much, um, you know I'm a little bougie. I have like a I've got like disposable mascara wands. Who has that? Like nobody has that. But <laughs> right now I'm gonna use that so I don't because I felt like I caked on too much mascara. Okay. All right. We'll do tonight. Okay. So that is my eye look. I hope that you guys learn lots. So let me introduce to you a combination of my best friend's lip liner and American Woman Beauty's lip gloss. Okay. So I am going to use um, this is color number 15, tonightyj.com. And I'm going to line my lips. And when I line my lips, I like to start at the outer corner of the lip and bring it to the center, like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. I personally love a full lip, like that's just me. I'm not trying to make it look Botox. I just like a full lip, okay? And then I'm gonna do it again on the other side. I always go over my natural lip line, but just like by like just like a smidge. And then I'll do it again on the bottom, okay? And then what I do is I shade. Make this line a little straighter. Shade a little bit of color on the sides. And I'm gonna make sure my liner goes all the way through here. Okay. Ooh, I made a little mess up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my, like my concealer that's, that was on my brush, like this concealer brush, and just clean it up a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna use Adore You from American Woman Beauty. Adore you, adore you. And today you get 20% off on AmericanWomanBeauty.net. Today, if you use the code Barbara and capital letters, B-A-R-B-A-R-A. -R -R -A. And we're gonna put Adore You on. It's a gloss. And I'm just gonna press my lips together. So this is a combo with my best friend's lip liner in number 51, Tonighty J. Tonighty J .com or Tonighty J Beauty .com, And yeah. All right. And that is the look, ladies. What you all think? What you all think? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Here are all your questions, and while you think of questions, I am going to announce the giveaway winner, but I felt like I was going to do one more thing before I did that. Oh, toner. Viviana told me to talk about my toner and my 
my uh, my skincare. So I make all. Oh, I'm so glad that you learned so much. Um, I make all plant based skincare. All it's all organic. I formulate it all on my own. It's handmade. I pride on um keeping things clean um although makeup is not completely clean but if we can do it in another avenue it's definitely skincare so it's so important that when you remove this makeup off that you're using something uh, you're using a better alternative to remove your makeup and to keep your face sustained clean hydrated right um lifted conditioned softened so i use um for on a, on a daily basis, I use my toner. And my toner has rose water. It also has dandelion root herb and it has lavender as well too. And what you could do too is you could spray the toner on your skin after you do your makeup. And it smells like roses. It really does though. And it just kind of gives like this, like, like this like slight glow in your skin because this does also have hibiscus in it as well too, okay? And my serum, it's gold. It's got jojoba, raspberry seed oil, pomegranate oil, and this is like my go-to that I put on every single time before I do my makeup. As to why, I have the glow because of the highlight, but if you see how smooth my foundation looks, it's because of how I prep my skin. I tone, I put serum, but then I also moisturize. I'm not gonna stay too long on my skincare, but if you wanna shop, you can shop on www.barbararodriguez.co. Okay, anyways. Uh, we could talk a little bit more, I guess, about that. But again, let's do the giveaway. Let's do the giveaway winner announcement. So for those of you who um, entered into the giveaway, if you're not on here watching, I will also post it up on my Instagram to let you know who won, okay? Because there was a combination of people on my end who participated and there was a combination of American Woman Beauties and who participated. So I have this cute little spin the wheel. Look at this, look at this. And okay, watch, watch this. I'm gonna press spin and we're gonna see who's gonna win this eyeshadow palette and my recorded makeup class. So let's get started. I'm gonna press spin. Okay, so Julie Sweet and Salty Baked won. I think she's part of my one of my participants. So I am going to just keep this up for her and put it on my Instagram. Thank you all. Thank you all for who like um, participated. For those of you who watched this tutorial today, who watched the replay, if you have any questions about makeup or makeup tips, I will freely give them to you. You can hop on my Instagram page at barbararodriguez.co. Um, again, I'm gonna just, put it back I think we said I spelled it wrong I think it's Julie and sweet and salty baked but I'm going to make sure that she let her know that she won so thank you all so much for participating um how do you like my makeup do you guys have any questions um you can shop tonight I think I don't know if it's tonight Viviana Viviana I don't know if you're still there but if it's tonight or tomorrow where they get 20% off and they get the Free Thinking Woman Palette, the natural, such a beautiful palette. I personally chose these tones to do this. And there's so many different looks that you can create with this, but I personally chose these tones to do this. I mean, to do this. What's good for oily skin? If you go on my website at www.barbararodriguez.co, I have the skincare. It does say sold out. I'm actually going to update. Nothing's no more. You know, I was sold out. I'm actually going to update it. If you go on my website, there is a set for oily skin. Um, and you can send me a message and be like, what does each do and why? Um, 
my cleanser is amazing for oily skin because it has tea tree it has rosemary and it also has lavender tea tree rosemary is like an antibacterial for the skin lavender helps like like soothe the skin but because of the elements in it and it's also a gel based moisturizer so there's no like like it doesn't foam up or anything like that it will balance your skin out what is the best eye makeup remover the best eye makeup remover my serum that is the best eye makeup remover. I don't know if you guys know this. There's a lot of eye makeup removers that when you do use them, your eyes sting. They sting. They hurt. And um, what's happening is that there's a lot of ingredients in eye makeup removers, in makeup removers, in skincare that you can't even pronounce that is actually not conducive to your skin. My serum, which is an oil, it's an oil, what it's gonna do is going to allow the makeup to emulsify and remove. And then what you do after the fact is then you cleanse. So, or what you could, sorry, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a serum to remove all the eye makeup, right? So then thereafter, you're gonna use a hot towel just to remove the makeup ever so gently off the eye. Then you're going to cleanse, okay? That is the best way to remove your eye makeup. I don't really encourage makeup removers, like as far as wipes. Um, I'm learning that when you use makeup wipes, they actually push makeup back into your pores and into your skin, and you're not really removing the makeup. The best way to remove your makeup is either double cleansing or using an like an oil, like an oil, based product whether it be a serum or would it's called um a cleansing oil which is something that i definitely want to come out with in the near future but for the meantime you could totally use like a serum that's oil based oil based and you want to use um a, 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 an oil that's light you don't want to use a very very heavy oil on your skin so i hope that was helpful any other questions any other questions because i'm loving these questions on makeup tips on skincare um, if you want to learn how to do like a full face of makeup like this, I will be having my makeup, uh, uh, my makeup class on the everyday woman, um, up soon on the website, but please follow me on barbararodriguez.co so I can give you uh, more intel and announcements on that. Um, any more questions before I hop off? Um, thank you all so much. For watching i hope that you learned lots i'm like looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> i'm going to bed like i'm going to bed this sucks this sucks so much because you know like where would you go anyways at nine o'clock at night anyways i'm gonna take a, a beautiful picture thank you all so much um for watching god bless you guys and for those who you stayed on for the entire live thank you thank you thank you julie julie sweet and salty baked you won. I just saw you hop on. You won, my darling. You won the giveaway. You won the eyeshadow palette. So this will get sent to you. And you won my recorded makeup class for the everyday woman. You won, my darling. You won. You won. You won. So now I don't have to put it up anymore. Julie, I hope you, please tell me that you're seeing this, that you won. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> you're welcome perfect julie please um send me a message so i can give this to you um thank you for your time it was so helpful god bless you of course good night ladies god bless you bye